Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about more games you guys should probably look out for. Um, I like using Amazon as you guys know uh, for certain deals but if you can find these games for certain deals somewhere else like local stores or whatnot, go for it. Um, of course on this on my videos we talk about the physical versions of the game so if you think the digital version is cheaper you know go ahead and get that version. My, my whole point for these videos is to kind of like introduce some of these games to you guys if you don't know about them or if you were waiting for a sale or whatnot. Uh, this video is not going to be too many sales though. There's going to be a couple of good ones, but not really too many sales uh, in my opinion. But let's get into it. All right, so here is Foreclosed. Um, I don't know too much about this game, but I saw uh, uh, one of my friends post about it in a group. And I said, you know what, let me go ahead and add this to the list. Um, as far as I know, it is a cyberpunk game where you're trying to like... Um, uh, figure out who set you up pretty much and um you're on the run pretty much in this game and the game has a really a uh, stylistic uh, look to it uh which you're, when you're it shows you like running on one screen it'll show a cinematic under you of somebody talking or something like that or try giving you information it looks really cool and for 15 bucks that is a no-brainer for me so if you guys have played this game uh let me know what you think about it in the comments um i'm excited for this one okay so the first game here is always awakening well always collection uh, this just came out for the PS4 and the Switch. Um, and here's the Switch version here. Um, this is two games. One is the 8-bit version game, which is called Awa's, um, I think it's Awakening. And then the second game is called Awa's uh, Legacy. Um, so very cool Metroidvania style games from what I've seen. I, I actually just got this game. I'm going to be adding them to a pickups video pretty soon. Um, I'm liking them so far. These are pretty cool, and I don't know uh, if a lot of people know it, that it got a retail release. It did get releases from companies like Limited Run. I don't know if people got that version yet, um, but this retail version is out now, and that's what I like going for because I want the game as soon as possible, usually. Um, I actually got my copy for $29 because uh, I pre-ordered on Amazon. Uh, they took it down for a while for some reason. And then it came back as 34, so I got lucky and got the got it for its original price. But 34.99 uh, for two games, that's not bad, I don't think. And it comes with some stickers inside of it, so that's kind of cool. But um, definitely a cool new retro style game that I think a lot of people would would enjoy. Here's Song of Horror Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is a survival horror game that's pretty much a, a throwback of what I would say, kind of like a Resident Evil. Um, Silent Hill, all that stuff with the kind of camera angles and stuff like that. Very scary stuff. Very cool game. You get to play as around 13, well, I think it's around 13 characters, different characters you get to play as. And you're trying to survive with each of them. And depending on who survives, that changes the ending up. You want everybody to survive, of course, but the game is trippy. Uh, pretty much the first character gets a call to go to the house. Nobody's in the house, obviously, and it's very eerie. Then he sees this, this mysterious door, and he decides to go into it, but the door shuts behind him, and he's locked in this hellish world. And it's just pretty insane stuff. Really cool. Definitely something you guys want to pick up. Next up is Everspace. Uh, Jason actually introduced me to this game a while back, and this game is actually really cool. If you like space exploration games, uh, mission-based, where you have to like hunt down pirates uh, for, for rewards and stuff like that, travel the universe, uh, this game is right up your alley. This is really cool. A lot, lots of uh, different story to this game. I'm surprised that a lot of people don't really know about this game because I've tried to ask people about it, and no one ever knows what I'm talking about when I bring this game up. So, um, hopefully, um, you guys will take some interest by seeing the footage here. Uh, definitely worth uh, ten dollars. And if you're looking for the Switch version, uh, cheapest I've seen that go for is ten dollars at Walmart on the Walmart rack for sale. But I've seen it probably go from between $10 to $20, so if you want that version. But honestly, I would choose the PS4 version for the best quality. But um, at least when it comes to like physical, physical copies of the game. But uh, I would say definitely keep this one on your radar. Alright, so here is Blade Strangers. This is a hidden fighting game that a lot of people don't really know about. And I wanted to kind of bring it to your attention because uh, it's pretty much... All of Nicholas's characters. If you're not familiar with the company Nicholas, uh, they did that game, uh, Binding of Isaac, uh, Cave Story, uh, and a couple other ones. And all their characters are like like all stars in this game. It even has a guest star appearance from a Gun Vault from the Azure Striker Gun Vault series. Um, this is actually a pretty cool fighting game. You know, I don't won't say it's like a top tier fighting game, but it's definitely something uh, that people might be able to get into. Now. 
the I would say the price you want to pay for this is probably maybe around 30th at the most you know if you could find it for that you know but it's really up to you this is one of those games I want to kind of bring up on the radar um, it was running a little bit cheaper before but I don't really think this game had a big print run you know it wasn't a big seller it went under a lot of people's radar so it's definitely something I think fighting fans uh, might want to pick up also it is available on the switch as well all right, so Chris Tales. Uh, I'm talking about this one again because it's even cheaper than it was during uh, Black Friday. Now, for y'all, all you Xbox fans, here is the Xbox Series X version. And um, oh, is this a Series X? Yeah, Series X and Xbox One. Yeah, so both systems backwards compatible. Um, Fifteen dollars. That's that's a really good deal for this game. Um, and what's weird about this is that the PS4 version seems to be the most expensive right now, going at thirty. You get the Switch version here. That one's going for $14.99 as well. So another one to keep your eyes out for. And then PS5, of course, is on sale too. So I guess they've been selling a lot of the PS4 ones maybe. So they kind of want to like dip into the other uh, versions of the game they made. But um, definitely a cool RPG. Uh, old school type RPG, I would say, is turn-based. But what really makes this game stand out is the graphic style, at least to me. I think it was really well done. And how you kind of like um, uh, move to area to area is kind of really cool. Definitely something that old school RPG fans or new RPG fans alike might want to pick up. Okay, so this one is going to be a tough one, but I, I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention. La Mulana 1 and 2 Hidden Treasures Edition. Now, this is as far as I know, this is the only edition that came out for this game. It came in a collector's box. This was, um, I think it was uh, NIS America is the one that put it out in... Um, I've seen it on Amazon for sale for a good while now, and pretty much um, uh, still a lot of people don't know about it. It had it had it did have some sales and it did sell, but there's one here. Uh, let's see here for the Xbox, and that one's going for 46. I think that's a good deal for that one. Um, but if you if you can find these games for around that price, I think it's a good deal. At the most, I would say 60. Um, but um, this is a good collection to have. I, I've actually talked about it on Jason's channel before. And this is a really well put collection. The game is kind of like, um, man, it reminds me of this old school game I used to play back when I was a kid called Pharaoh's Tomb. But uh, this one, that game is more level based. This one um, is more kind of like Metroidvania puzzle type. Really fun stuff. Um, you would you would usually see a game like this, at least get a physical maybe on the Switch, but to get a physical on the Xbox Series X and the um, the PS4. And Xbox One, I guess. Sorry, I said Series X. That's just really cool, I thought. So, um, definitely one you guys should keep your eyes out for, especially just for the collector's edition of it because it comes with some cool stuff. All right, so here's Tormented Souls for the PlayStation 5. 20 bucks for a survival horror game. I think that's a good deal. I feel like they dropped the price for this one now because um, I guess they're, uh, they're about to release the Switch version and the PS4 version. I thought they were going to cancel those versions of the game, just go with this one, but I kind of understand because uh, the PS5s are still hard to find, so a lot of people might not be able to cash in. Well, you could buy games before you get a system. That's actually a smart thing to do, but um, I think they're kind of like just wanting to uh, just, just drop the price for this one because they have no idea when PS5s are going to be like widely available for people and everything, so um, definitely a good survival horror game. Uh, from what I've seen of it, you know, I haven't played it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So, um, if anybody's played this game, let me know about it because, um, I, from what I've seen of it, it looks like you know, old school art, like not RPG, but uh, survival horror with the turn, the camera angles, stuff like that. So, let me know in the comments. But I think 20 bucks for a PS5 game, great deal. All right, so man, I didn't see this coming. This was pretty fast. Um, Far Cry 6, uh, 20 bucks now. This game was just released, I believe, in November. Well, maybe it was in October, but 20 bucks already, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. So here is your Xbox One and Xbox Series X version. And let's see, PS4, if that's on sale as well. Uh, PS, I would go with the next generation for these type games anyway. 20 bucks, yeah. They're mostly all 20 bucks. So I have not played Far Cry 6, so I can't really tell you much about it. But I do like the actor that the game is like centered around. So... Uh, if you played any of the other Far Cry games, you know what you're getting into with this. 20 bucks. That's probably a good deal. All right, so this one is going to make people mad, but this game <laughs> has, is not out yet and don't know when it's coming out. You know, they've had this release date on it for a while. 
Uh, first, it was December 31st, 2021. Now it's December 31st, 2022. And um, <laughs> man, it, it just seems like um, I feel like the game's going to come out this year as a physical. It's going to be 20 bucks and it's going to be on the PS4. But man, what is going on, guys? You got to give us some information about it. You know, it's kind of crazy, but uh, it's nice that a game will come out for 20 bucks. And this is, a, I don't want to say it's a horror game, a puzzle platformer type. It looked pretty cool. So I thought I'd just bring it up to everybody's attention. But hopefully it'll come out soon, uh, sooner than December 31st, because that's that's too long. But anyways, guys, yeah, check this one out. Or if you have any information about it, uh, let me know what you guys think. Now we're going to some GameStop deals. Um, here is Destroy All Humans. Um, this is $15 at GameStop right now. I don't know how long this sale will last, but um, I guess it, it, I don't know. It's kind of cool. You know, I, I never really got into these games, but like, a, but for a Switch game to be that cheap, uh, that's a pretty good deal. So it might be something people want to check out. And next up, we have 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I got my platinum on this game. This was a really great RPG. Well, I, I don't know if I can really say it's a, well, yeah, you can say it's an RPG, duh, because the, the battle system it has. But the battle system doesn't. This feels like more action than like turn-based. At least for me, it did. But um, a really good game, really good story. The story is deep. I was like surprised. It's not deep where you can't follow it, but it's just like where it goes. I had no idea it was going there. Pretty insane stuff. Great voice acting. Good-looking graphics. It, it kind of looks like a storybook game and everything like that. With like like the way the art is and everything like that. Like you could turn the page or whatever. But definitely for twenty bucks, people got to pick this one up. This is a really good one. And then uh, I'm seeing Devil May Cry 5, uh, the vert little special edition, at a GameStop for 20 bucks. Uh, it I haven't seen it on sale anywhere else but GameStop so far for 20 bucks. But um, if you guys know anywhere else it's on sale, possibly let me know. Um, I want to play this game so bad, you know. And um, the the reason I mainly want to play it because Virgil is playable. Virgil is my character. Uh, I don't really care about Dante or. Um, uh, what's that? Uh, Nero, really. I just saw about Virgil. Ever since Devil May Cry 3, that was my main guy. But uh, 20 bucks, I think, is a good deal for this game. But one thing, I, I hate the way the cover looks. It's like, man, they should have just went with the other cover instead. That, that cover just looks all kind of weird. They should have put Virgil on the cover more, but it's all good. All right, so um, I don't know if a lot of you guys noticed, but Best Buy, for some reason, I think it was a glitch in the system, but maybe I'm wrong. But uh, Scott Pilgrim, uh, their limited run release uh, had um, was on sale for ten bucks, and um, a lot of people hopped on that. But what happened was they bought a bunch bunch of them, and then next thing you know, you see them on eBay. So now they're going for like uh, twenty bucks to uh, twenty two dollars and up or whatnot. And I think you could find a good deal here, so I just kind of want to bring it to you guys' attention for it. Um, I believe you can still pick it up at game. I mean, at, at Best Buy, but it's still going for like thirty-four dollars or whatnot. So buying on eBay with free shipping might be a good bet for you guys. You get it on the, on the Switch or the PS4. Uh, a really good fighting game, well, beat 'em up game is a lot of fun. Um, but um, anyways, guys, definitely uh, something uh, you guys should look into. Scott Pilgrim. The Ninja Saviors: uh, Return of the Warriors. Uh, this came out last year, but it finally got restocked and on Amazon. And um, this is this is um, more of a, a kind of like a, a, a slight slight remake of the Super Nintendo game. Um, this one is actually two players. Um, it's actually really a lot of fun. They did a really good job on this game. I actually did a live stream of this, I think, about a year and a half ago, and I had a good time playing this one. Uh, the game is available for the PS4 as well, so. You might want to check this one out. Uh, uh, this one, it, yeah, the PS4 version is cheaper. It's 30. Uh, the Switch version, 34. Uh, it's really up to you guys uh, what you think is a good deal for this game. But if you want some some old school retro side scrolling beat em up, this game will be right up your alley. And last but not least, um, I wanted to talk about this game, uh, Centipede Infestation. So I actually got this game years ago on the Wii. And, um, you know, a lot of people are looking at 3DS games now and everything like that. Now, don't let this price that you're seeing fool you right now. Um, this is going on eBay for around, I want to say, 10 to $20 for this game. And a lot of people don't know this game is made by WayForward. So, uh, even though it's published by Atari, uh, I thought it'd be a cool one to look into. 
it's, it's simplistic gameplay. Like, pretty much you just shoot these little centipedes or whatever like that. Kind of like the old school centipede. Just more refined, I would say. More modern. But 3DS game for around $10 to $20. I think that's a good deal. And I'm talking about complete. So keep your eye out for this one. Or you could probably pick up the Wii version. All right, guys. So that does it for another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, I like doing these videos. Um, I'm going to slow down on them a little bit. You know, I want to make sure I calculate enough deals for you guys to make these videos worth it. But either way, the whole point of these videos is just to give you guys a look at certain games that you might not know about and to keep your eyes out for certain deals. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Radical Reggie, and I will see you in the next video.